What's going on guys? Your boy CJ here and I'm going to be giving you five things I wish I knew when I first started in Magic the Gathering. So this is going to be some things that are, you know, more or less etiquette, also information and a guide for, you know, certain situations you may end up in. So let's get it off. Number one, definitely buy what you need or trade for what you need. Definitely do that because if you are buying packs and you're just hoping you get a uh, Karn, you may spend way more money or maybe even buy a box or something like that. Spend way more money and just not get what you need when you can just go ahead and get the card directly. You can find some source, some way, secondary market, um, buying it off people or, you know, trading, you know, that can help you way more than just buying random packs and just getting a random <laughs> getting random cards that you may or may not even use. So number two, speaking of binders, make a binder that you yourself are not, you know, super attached with. Basically cards that you do not need or cards you're willing to part with. Because there are a lot of situations where people will tell you, oh, that's not for trade. Oh, no, I'm building that in a deck or something like that. Definitely do that. Or a better way for you to, you know, minimize the troubles in trading, put the cards upside down from the normal way of putting them in and or put them in the back. It's sometimes it's even better to just do both. Try to um, keep them out of the binder. But if you must, maybe you've pulled a couple cards um, that night or maybe a couple weeks ago you forgot to do it and you know they're in the back they're out of the way instead of someone flipping through your sections like oh they're sitting in the green section oh I want your you know whatever it is your Seaborn Muse and they're like <laughs> I'm sorry that's not for trade uh, I just got it tonight or something like that and I just put it in a random slot try to keep that separated so that the trade can go more smoothly and um, you don't agitate anybody and things like that. That's a more common thing than you would run into, that you would run into. It's a more way, happens way too often. So another thing is to always bring draft sleeves, okay? They're uniform, they're all the same color, they're all the same clean, they're all the same sleeve, same brand, everything. Always use those sleeves. Once you're done drafting, take them out. It will save you tons of money. Sleeves are like, <laughs> like five to six dollars, you know, depending on where you play, five to six dollars a pack for 50. And sometimes it runs out so fast because a lot of people go to sealed events, drafts, and other type of things. And they're like, holy crap, I need to get these as well. Sometimes, you know, pre-releases, there are like 60 people in one place and they just don't have enough product. And then you have to buy the 100s. And oh my God, you, you'll have all those extra sleeves and then later on they just get everywhere. And you end up you know, having a bajillion sleeves of different colors and stuff like that. So always keep one pack of sleeves. Make sure it's a brand that you love, that you trust, and that will last you a long time. Um, <laughs> that's that's a way to, that happens way too often, definitely. Um. Next one is please let people know you're using proxies um, that not only in tournaments, you have to let people let them know because, you know, proxies aren't legal. But I do know a card shop that in Commander, they allow like 10 proxies in a competitive tournament that they host at that card shop. Hey, that's their thing. Um, but whenever you're playing, you know, Commander... Let people know. Um, I, it, it does agitate a lot of people. Um, it does um, kind of, you know, hurt a lot of people's feelings whenever you're like, all right, bam, mox. It's not even real. And you're like, are you serious? Like, you're, you're running a mox? Like, come on. And, like, sometimes, you know, it's just those cards that you just can't afford. But it's kind of, like, on the edge. Like, you, a lot of people would spend some money on and stuff like that. But you just don't have it. Um, let's say like any of the swords and stuff like that. Let people know. Um, that goes a long way. Same thing with unhinged. Uh, of course they're not on the ban list. Um, but 
technically they kind of are because they're not, you know, legal in a sense. So let people know um, that was a big controversy at my card shop. So wanted to, you know, try to minimize the damage as much as I can for other people. So definitely look into that. Tell people no. Uh, tell people, you know, let them know that uh, you're using proxies or you're, you may be using a unhinged deck or some unhinged cards and stuff like that. So the last one, try other formats. Um, there are cheaper formats than Commander. There are other formats that are just as fun as Commander. Pioneer just came out. Um, I know that's going to be like a modern day modern, <laughs> but try other formats. There is, you know not only just regular highlander which is commander there are a bunch of crazy weird ones uh tiny commanders uh no one really plays it that much but that's like an example um oathbreaker uh it's kind of like a brawl commander you know that type of thing and then there are there's popper which is extremely you know cheap it's very it's competitive in its own right and it's also going to be getting some backing so that's actually one of the the things about magic is there's a bunch of formats for you guys to try so there you go i wanted to give you guys those tips those five tips thanks so much for jamming out with me like if you like the information that i gave you um comment down below it helps me reach other people thanks so much for jamming out i'll take you guys later